In this session, we shall be looking at a technique called economic order quantity. Now, when we put in an order to a supplier for a particular type of inventory, we've got to consider what amount of um, inventory we need to order. So, for instance, if I required 300 tonnes of steel a year to meet my yearly production requirements, should I order it all in one go? Or should I make several orders over the year? And in general, there are advantages and disadvantages associated with both types of approach. Now, one of the methods that's used to deal with this problem is called economic order quantity, or EOQ. Now, when we look at our inventory, um, there are costs associated with it. Um, the most obvious is the purchase price, but there are also costs associated with the ordering of inventory and costs associated with holding inventory. Now, when we look at order costs, uh, these are costs associated with making an order inv of inventory. They might be the purchasing costs, so costs associated with our um, purchasing department. There would also be costs of us receiving or collecting the goods. So um, carriage or the costs of um, collecting uh, the goods. There are also holding costs associated with inventory. These might be insurance costs, making sure that um, if our warehouse burns down that we will be covered for the uh, losses incurred. There's also the costs of warehousing all this stock or inventory. And there's also the costs of financing the goods that we hold. Now, an accountant will want to minimise the overall costs of these inventory, of, the, of holding inventories. And this is where the economic order quantity technique comes in. Now, economic order quantity is a way that we use to calculate how much stock we should order each time in order to minimise our total um, stock holding and ordering costs. The formula is EOQ equals the square root of 2 multiplied by C multiplied by D divided by H. This is where C is the cost of placing an order, D is the annual demand for that particular type of inventory, and H is the cost of holding just one unit in inventory for one year. Let's illustrate this with an example. So let's say we expect to sell 2,400 units a year of a product called Blob. We calculate the cost of placing and receiving an order and that is £200 for each order. We also calculate the cost of holding a single unit of Blob for one year and that works out at £15. Now what we can do is we can put that information into our economic order quantity formula. So our economic order quantity is going to be the square root of 2 multiplied by the cost of placing an order, £200, multiplied by the annual demand for this product, 2,400 units, divided by the cost of holding a single unit of blob for a year, £15. And that works out at just under 253 units. So every time we place an order with the supplier, we should order 253 units. And at that level, we will minimise the overall costs of um, orders and holding our inventory of stock for this particular product.